We shall long enjoy the work of our hands. December 28th. I hath not seen nor ear heard. They shall not build, and another inhabit. They shall not plant, and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 22. I heard shouts of triumph from the angels and from the redeemed saints, which sounded like ten thousand musical instruments, because they were to be no more annoyed and tempted by Satan, and because the inhabitants of other worlds were delivered from his presence and his temptations. Early Writings, 290. There when the veil that darkens our vision shall be removed, and our eyes shall behold that world of beauty of which we now catch glimpses through the microscope, when we look on the glories of the heavens, now scanned afar through the telescope, when, the blight of sin removed, the whole earth shall appear, in the beauty of the Lord our God, what a field will be open to our study. There the student of science may read the records of creation, and discern no reminders of the law of evil. He may listen to the music of nature's voices, and detect no note of wailing or undertone of sorrow. In all created things he may trace one handwriting, in the vast universe behold, God's name writ large, and not in earth or sea or sky one sign of ill remaining. Education, 303. Peaceable habitation, and in sure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 18. 